Hello, I'm doing the makeup for Prince John, Sheriff of Nottingham, King Richard, Tobias slash clergyman, Archie Butt, Alan A. Dale, Harold, Edward, uh, and that's it. Uh, okay. So some of these designs are a little bit different than others. So pay attention to your faceplate as you're, as you're following along. And if you don't have a line that I'm doing, just don't do it. And if you do, just make sure you're following along. Um, so to start off, make sure that you have your base and the rest of your kit as well. And just have a light, I already have some base on, but just have a light layer on. It doesn't need to be heavy at all. I just put a little bit on my sponge and just light layer just to even out my skin tone. And then I'm going to start with my little quad of colors. I'm going to start with a highlight. I'm going to put, I'm going to use my mirror and put it on my forehead. Just use the three little lines and down my nose. So depending on your face plate, this, your nose might be a little bit of a different shape, but these are all essentially the same steps. And I'm also going to put it on my cheekbones. This doesn't need to be neat because we will be blending this all out. And some of you have kind of the movement down in your highlight and contour. So if you have that, make sure you include that. I'm also going to put highlight on my chin and on each side of my cupid bow. Some of you may have some highlight on your temples, so just put it right there. And for now, we're going to move on to some contour. Once again, we're going to blend this out eventually, so. And if you don't have this line down, you can just stop like right here as if this didn't exist. I'm also going to put some between the two highlights that I put on my cupid's bow right here. Uh, a few of you have a more intense shadow here. Um, and if so, you just use a little bit more makeup there. And otherwise, you can just leave it pretty, pretty light. However, this is good. Um, there's also a line over your chin. And as I said, some of you may have stuff around your temples. 
So that would go right here above, above the cheekbone and below the highlight that we already added. There are a few different uh, nose shapes. Many of you will have the side that I'm about to do right now. It just goes with the natural nose shape. So this, I start from the corner of my eyebrow, down the side of my nose, just like that. Just, just normally. And then a few of you have a more tightly ended nose in your makeup design or just more of a straight end than just your natural nose so this is a more natural nose it can kind of go farther out at the end as well um but if you have that in your makeup design just make sure as you're coming to the end it has comes to that point and you don't have to worry about that if you don't have that in your makeup design. I, I'd say most of you just follow the natural shape of your nose. No need to worry about any special nose shape unless, unless it's clear on your design. Um, and so from here, I'm going to blend out, blend the contour downwards that and the highlight I like to blend more into the skin just like where it lies and the chin kind of just kind of just blend it where it is pulling the contour down above your mouth, just that. And just blend, blend in all the parts of the makeup. some of this might be able to be blended more. You don't necessarily need as much product as I put on. You can blend in the nose, you can blend downward on the face, so blend out. Okay, so here, this is a pretty basic makeup for all of these designs. However, now is where we start differing a little bit uh, because there's a variety of age stuff. Um, I'm gonna take the shadow again and just put a little bit on my brush so I can make some tighter lines and if you have lines here on your makeup design kind of put lines there going from your nose down to the corners of your mouth and if you have any problems like finding where these like age 
indicators or wrinkles should go. You can always scrunch up your face and just find where they should be on your face. Or you can think of anyone that you know that might have these indicators and kind of just copy how they might look. Um, some of you might have some lines underneath your eyes. Uh, some of you might have some crow's feet, which are the lines by your eyes. So I like to scrunch up my eye to find where they'd be for me. You can kind of make a lot of funny faces. Sure that I, I'll go through all your designs. Uh, some of you might have some lines between your eyes, so I like to scrunch down my eyebrows and see if there's any lines. So I follow those. And finally, some of you might have some eyebrow, some forehead wrinkles. So I like to raise my eyebrows and if you have any hints of lines, you can put that there or you can just kind of put some approximations. I'm gonna put super fine line. Doesn't need to be intense. This should be all the wrinkles or the lines that you might have. So now that we've gone through contour, and you can wipe off your brush between these colors, either on your hand or on just like a little uh, towel. However, you wanna make sure that if you do it on your hand, you wipe it off before you perform. I'm gonna put some highlight to go with the the contour lines that you just did that fit your design so above these lines and in the bags for the highlight You can put um, just highlight right next to the lines here. I like to put them between crow's feet. And put some highlight above and below your your forehead wrinkles.
And now I'm gonna take my sponge again, find a spot I haven't really used, and just kind of blend into the skin, just blend down. You don't need to, I just like pat it, pat on top of the skin. And if it feels like the age of your character needs to be up, just add another layer of the wrinkles. Remember, you don't want to swipe with the when the wrinkles. If you just tap, There you go. So now you have most of what you need to do with the highlight and contour. Um, now we're gonna take this lighter pink color and this is our blush, basically. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush again. Take the lighter pink color and put it where the, the blush is indicated on the faceplate. So some of them will probably be up here. Or some might be farther down here. And now you're going to take your sponge and just blend it in. There you go. There's there's some of the blush placements you might have. And you all probably have a variety when it comes to the eye details. Uh, so I'm going to show a few of the options. And if yours is different, I should be able to show approximately how you should do the varying eye details. So, I like to make sure my brush is straight and as like thin of a line as possible for the eye details, eyeliner. I close my eye, just trying to relax and make a line right over my, my lashes. So that's eyeliner. And you might have some more, uh, you might have some highlight on top, or you might have more highlight on the bottom. I'm gonna show, show a more complicated eye detail look that's in this group on the other eye. So if you have highlight indicated on the bottom, just keep your eyes wide open. You can even look up if you have some. You can put 
some some highlight in the inner corner as well that helps like open up your eye the eyeliner you don't necessarily need to blend in so you're good uh, for the more complicated eye details in this group oh and if you need to wing out your eyeliner at all just balance on your face create a quick little swish and connect the end of that swish into the center of the top of your eye liner. So this is what my eye looks like right now. And here for a more complicated eye detail is we'll do all those steps with just highlight on the top and bottom so just highlight and then use a little bit of contour underneath the highlight that you added. So it's just another layer of eyeliner. And then there's one above the highlight in the inner corner. And there's one near kind of the wing of the highlight and just another, another eye detail. So for that more complicated eye detail, um, obviously whatever your makeup design is, you do it on both sides. Uh, but for that one, just it's like highlighting all around your eye and then putting a little bit of contour or the shadow right outside of that highlight. So now we're on to our last few steps. We're taking the darker red in our little thing here. And we just put it on our lips. No need to go outside of your just natural lip shape. There's always rubbing it in. However, that might be hard with this makeup. Um, and finally, we have this pencil, this eye pencil. Um, if it's easier to use this than the brush around your eyes. Feel free to use it for any of the shadow markings. And you can also use this to fill in your eyebrows. Do a little bit more than you think you need because the eyebrows are super key for expressions on stage. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows, just my natural eyebrows. So any, any sparse places in my eyebrow I will make little little swish marks to imitate uh, hair the way that the hair in the eyebrow grows
So there, my eyebrows are all filled in. And that's the last bit of makeup, but to make sure the makeup stays on while you're performing, we wanna use this little powder and the powder little puff that comes in your kit. I'm gonna really, really carefully take the lid off this powder. You wanna make sure that all the dust is settled before you open it. And I like to take, ooh, it, I got a little bit more than I wanted. Uh, however, I like to take a little bit out and put it in the uh, cap. However, you can, you can do it however you want. You can put it on top of it. Um, and you can also put it on top and just kind of flip and then flip back over and just wait for the dust to settle. Just have a little bit of dust on there and just kind of pat, pat any dust on. This makes sure that uh, any makeup you have stays on while you're performing. Make sure you close your eyes tight and then just pat on. Be very careful around your eyes, but you really need to make sure that you get into, into your eyes while you're setting. And while you're, while you're looking in the mirror, use this and kind of just wipe off any excess. Make sure you get your lips too. And there we have it. Uh, good luck uh, on the makeup. Break legs during the performances. Have a wonderful time. Uh, I will see you all later.